Who are you? What do you want? A student? <laughs> What's a student from Sumeru City doing in Port Ormos? Ah, well, if it's info you want, you've come to the right place. The question is, can you afford it? Huh? What is this, some kind of joke? Here, this is the merchant's address. Whatever you're looking for, you'll find it there. Hmm? Well, what are you waiting for? Oh, that's right! We heard you mention King Deshret just now. We're actually interested to know more because... Uh... Because... We're... Uh... Archaeology students! <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Since you've already handed over the Mora, I guess I can throw in a little extra info. As you can see, members of Ain el Ahmar are devout believers of King Deshret. Years ago, King Deshret founded the great desert nation that was our homeland. It was an advanced civilization, far beyond anything you'll see in present-day Sumeru. King Deshret was the rightful god of wisdom, but he was betrayed by a companion he trusted. She even stripped him of his title, God of Wisdom. So, you mean the traitor was... Greater Lord Ruka Devata, yes. That shameless wretch destroyed King Deshret's civilization. And our ancestors were forced to flee to this land where we were made to suffer the tyranny of our enemies. Furthermore, she conspired with the Academia to cover up the truth of her actions and create the merciful and benevolent facade for which she is now known. Ugh, just thinking about it sickens me. But the story doesn't end there, oh no. King Deshret isn't truly dead. The voice of the Oracle has been heard in the desert, prophesying his resurrection. Mark my words, our god shall return. And when that day comes, all followers of the traitor and all the desert dwellers who have forgotten their true god will suffer retribution together. If what I'm saying makes you shiver with fear, it might not be too late for you to become a believer of King Deshret. <laughs> I don't have anything to say to you academia people about that. I think this conversation has reached its end. Not just yet. This man is a fraud. Huh? <sighs> you again? <sighs> Deranged academia lunatic. Yes, it's me again. I already warned you that if you weren't willing to sit and discuss things with me, I'd take measures to make things uncomfortable for you. Listen to me. That address he gave you is fake. Or at least, you won't find a merchant waiting for you there. This group has been boasting all around that they can provide information on a certain item as a means of luring people into their territory. Once you show up, they keep up the act until they have hard evidence that you want to purchase said item. Then they use that to squeeze you for all the more you're worth. Hey! Shut it all, Haytham! What are you playing at trying to ruin our business like this, hmm? I told you the other day. I wish to discuss my terms with your boss. Ha! The boss made it perfectly clear that he won't negotiate with you. Yes, and in no uncertain terms. But that was then. It does not preclude him from changing his mind in the future. I'm warning you. Don't push us, or this could get ugly. We don't usually get rough with people from the academia because it just complicates things. For a lunatic like you, though, we might just have to make an exception. If you're suggesting that we escalate this from a verbal exchange to a physical one, I accept. After all, even the Archons used war to negotiate the ownership of Tevat. If, on the other hand, we can't agree on any means of negotiation at all, then I'm afraid my next course of action will sting a little more than the mere falling through of a few business deals. I will jeopardize the Eremite's reputation, which I know you value above all else. I am quite confident that if I began to take such action, your boss would willingly approach me himself. However, I fear that by then, some things will have happened that cannot be undone. Also, a word of advice. I suggest you tell your boss exactly what happened here today. Otherwise, he might blame you for not telling him in the future. 
What did you say? Consider this. Have I ever failed to follow through on my word in the past? This guy is really out of his mind. Okay, then. If you really have a death wish, let's meet a week from today. The pier in front of the Pharos Lighthouse, four o'clock in the afternoon, sharp. Don't expect us to hold back. Not so fast. First, you return the 500,000 mora to them. <laughs> Please, I beg you, don't provoke them. We can't afford any trouble with this crowd. They haven't even paid for their food yet. Ah, Mr. Iman. There appears to be fewer staff in the restaurant recently. This wouldn't happen to be because they're all busy spreading the word to the students, would it? I, uh... Well... <laughs> someone who chooses to do business with a group like that really can't afford to get so flustered the instant someone confronts them about it. Consider the meal compensation for our silence. I'd say you're getting an excellent deal. Whoa! Did you see that? He not only got us our Mora back, but sent the Amorites running too! Plus, he seems to know a lot about what's going on around here. Let's catch up with him and ask some questions! <laughs>